You lot, sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got. So check this out, man. My name's Lockout Man from the Lockout Man podcast on YouTube. I do a talk show. Alright, so how long have you been how long have you um how long you been driving? 21 years. 21 years? 28 years. How long have you been driving? Uh 22 years. Twelve years. Twelve years. Throughout your twenty-one years, what is the most exciting state that you drove through? Play, uh, Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. Well, I've always just been kind of regional, so I really haven't been nationwide yet. What is the most boring state that you've driven through? The most boring state? Yes. I've been in all of them. I'm gonna say Nebraska. Oh, maybe Kentucky. 15 years, man. What sacrifices do you think uh, you, you have to make to be a truck driver? What's what? What sacrifices you have to make to be a truck driver? Uh, man, I think it's pretty much driving for other people. Because, you know, you, you're in the truck, the other people can just be, you know, they don't give a dog on about a truck driver, and you got to kind of drive for people, other people. All right. Time from home, family, kids. That's a lot of sacrifices. Depending on, depending on the field you need. And the work you All right. Nebraska. Is it flat and long as hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say California, but I like California because there's a lot going on. But Nebraska is open and flat. There's nothing going on. How old, how old were you when you decided you wanted to drive a truck? 21. 21? Uh, Why did you decide to come into the field? I used to load and temp and gauge rail cars. And uh truck driver came out there and I was making like $8 an hour. He said, hey man, you know how to operate all this equipment? Why don't you just drive and make more money? Show me a paycheck stuff. I got on it. That was in 2000. Well, okay. What do you do to keep up the energy on the road? My energy goes down here. At 28 years, and I like to sleep too damn much. I sleep late every morning, and I like to take a nap in the daytime. So what I do, a lot of dang Mountain Dew and Pepsi, a lot of bubble gum, a lot of water. You stop, take every two, three hours, you're still awake. Yes. So just get old and boring out here. What made you want? What made you want to be a truck driver at 23? Just needed trying to get the money, trying to follow that dog. I mean, that's a deep question, right there. <laughs> what are some of the issues? truck drivers face in the industry today? Uh, well, on my, my behalf, uh, not too much or nothing. I mean, just, you know, I guess just maintain the work and then try not to, with, with accidents, prevention, and staying safe. All right. What are some of the issues drivers face in the industry today? Yeah, well, uh, at least what do you think? Not making enough, I guess. How long do you usually stay out? I try to get home on the weekend, but uh, every now and then I'll be tired on Friday, and I'll say, I ain't got to go to home, so hell, I'm going to stay out the weekend. That's what's so, up. But I'll, if, if I feel good, I always, I'm always home every weekend, but if I'm, just say I'm in the Carolina on Friday at noon, and it's 600 miles home, I'm just tired. I'm not going home. Did you go to a trucking school or did you pay for it out of pocket? I went to a trucking school, but I knew how to drive before I went. Well, as I said, my dad drove. So by the time I was about 15, I was taking care of business. So I didn't have to, I didn't have to do school. So All right. Got lucky there. So you've been in it for 15 years so far, right? Yeah. Where do you see yourself in the next five? Say what? Not driving. Not driving. Is any of anybody in your family was truckers before yes. you? Yes. Your father? Yes. How long have you been driving? Uh, probably 
probably at least 30, 30 years at the time he quit. I think you and your dispatcher get a, get along well. You think your dispatcher keeps you running, keeps you uh, keeps your money coming? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I just uh, been here for almost a year already, so it's been pretty good. All right. What is your favorite? What is your favorite part about being a truck driver? Freedom. What do you wish you would have known before you became a truck driver? That's easy. Remember, I was talking about the other day. Benefits, retirement. If I knew you were in United, I would work for you were to work for UPS or FedEx, and I could be retiring right now. So school's out, uh -huh. so you just went on ahead and just got your license. Oh yeah. yeah. Explain, uh, explain that. Right okay. Um, where we're at in this region here, we're real close to Memphis Nashville rail yards, so they were needing rail drivers out the wazoo, you know. Okay. So uh, once I let them. Once I road tested and they seen that I had the experience that I needed, they said, here you go. So I had my own truck at the time. Okay. So, and I still have my own truck. I just, I work for ABL, but okay. I have a driver in my truck. Uh, I was told, man, get there run a thousand mile a day, run out law, run two, three law books. That's how I learned how to drive a truck. <laughs> I wish I'd learned the other way around. And tell me a time you had to handle a tough situation at a shipper or a receiver. Uh, but see, we're going to uh, a lot of neighborhoods, uh, construction areas, and it's, it can be kind of tight. So um, you can't, you gotta let yourself in out, knowing all the keys to the all the Smith system. So oh, yeah, you don't want to get yourself right. in a situation where you can't get out. All so right. uh, it's always good to know where you're going, and uh, you know it'd be a situation where you got different other trucks parked where you can't get through. So you gotta kind of communicate with the other driver to the vehicle to, you know, actually move so you won't get no accident. So. All right. Did you see? Did you see the video of the ABF driver? Yes. In Florida. In Florida. Yes, I did. And I think it scared the daylights out of all of us. Florida be like, what the fuck? opinion on that we never got we never got the, the whole story even from our company but I don't know the situation that driver was in so I really can't put myself in his shoes but I don't know what would possess somebody to jump on the hood of one of these things and try to hold on for dear life yeah but on that note I don't know what would possess somebody to jump out in front of one of them anyway you know right but Anyhow, that's what it is. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate yes, you, man. How many miles have you driven in your career? I probably, I average about 125 a year, 130. I've been driving 28 years, well over a million miles. Woo! Probably two or three million. Woo! Check me out on the Lockout Men podcast show on YouTube. Alright. Alright. Hey! Bro! I might be the smallest nigga in this bar. Baby versus Oh! What? Okay? That's how you feel? Uh. Sweet the